Hi everyone, I'm Suzanne Mulligan and I'm so excited to be here today with members of our incredible IMAX team to talk you through what you can expect in just a few short weeks at IMAX in Frankfurt. We've got a lot to cover, so we're gonna get right down to it. Karina, let's start with you. We're just a few weeks away from the 20th edition of IMAX in Frankfurt. After almost three years, how does it feel to be going on site in just a few short weeks? Um, well, it feels great to be going on site. Um, three years has um, both gone fast and seemed like a lifetime. Um, so, you know, being able to confidently uh, bring back the industry again from all over the world back to IMAX in Frankfurt, um, yeah, it's a fantastic feeling and we can see the excitement building um, from our partners, from our exhibitors, the buyers uh, from right across the world and see that on social media every day, which is um, wonderful. It is amazing. You know, I've been on maternity leave for a few weeks and this is my first time back in the office and I've noticed we have a lot of new staff members as well and we're going to be taking a lot of people on site this year. So I know the IMAX team is really excited to be there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a lot has changed, hasn't it, in three years uh, for the world as a whole, but also for our team and for um, so many people that have actually been working at IMAX um, for almost three years. <laughs> it's still the first Frankfurt show that they're able to experience. Um, and what I would say, you know, is um, a lot has changed in the industry a lot has changed at IMEX we've had time to really think through many different elements of the show I know we're going to be talking about some of those new features and experiences but also um, I think what people will also enjoy is there'll be a lot that's very familiar and they'll have that IMEX feeling the IMEX buzz that people know so well and so many of the social events um, are taking place again um, so I think um, there'll be a really nice mix of the new and the familiar. Absolutely. Um, Heather, something we always have is the world under one roof at IMAX in Frankfurt. So what advice can you give some of our exhibitors to make sure they get the most out of exhibiting at the show? Well, this is great timing because buyer schedules went live yesterday. So we are four weeks away from the show and counting and buyers are already logging in and making their appointments. So from an exhibitor side, it's like preparation is the key. So um, hopefully everybody's logged in by now. They should have completed their online profile. They should be using our marketing tools to promote their attendance at the show and also using their own contact, reaching out and contacting buyers themselves, promoting on social that they're gonna be there. When they get those appointment requests coming in, check why the buyer wants to meet them and be prepared so that when they get to the show, they can get down to business with those buyers and really make those appointments count. Thanks, Heather. That was great advice from an exhibitor perspective. Now, Dan, can you talk a little bit about how hosted buyers and attendees can get the absolute most out of their time at IMAX in Frankfurt? Yeah, absolutely. And as Heather said, schedules went live yesterday, so it's a very timely question for us. What I would say to every hosted buyer coming to the show is plan your attendance, book those individual appointments with our exhibitors and give them as much information about the event that you are preparing as possible so that exhibitor can be so well prepared for you and that conversation that you have is a great one. That would be my massive piece of advice to everybody coming. I would also say take advantage of all of the networking events and the educational sessions that we have on offer, build those relationships and just take everything the show has to offer. Absolutely. I couldn't I couldn't agree more. That's fantastic advice from both of you. Thank you so much. And talking about the experience outside of just the appointments, Mark, I'm going to turn it over to you. And um, our talking point for 2022 is nature. What can people expect um, from bringing nature to life at IMAX? Yeah, well, we've been uh, very busy over the past few years um, and we've uh, we've worked particularly on uh, on Hall 9. Um, where we have a bit more scope um, for for design, so we've we've looked at a real emphasis on the nature theme. So when you uh, walk into Hall Nine this year, uh, you're hopefully going to be greeted with um, a very cohesive design aesthetic, uh, lots of greenery, uh, natural images. Uh, when you go inside our main education rooms, uh, you're going to see the themes um, in the graphics of ocean and forest um, and canyon um, and uh, and indeed lots of uh, natural um, materials as well incorporated into the design so hopefully it'll feel quite different um, it certainly will look quite different um, and feel more immersive um, and we've also tried to link the outside with the in so we've moved the position of our food court area so that people can choose to um, uh, to link with the outside and go and maybe eat or eat or drink outside 
so uh, yeah hopefully it'll feel quite different and um with a, a definite focus on the the nature talking point Fantastic. Thank you so much. Now, Karina, you recently attended the site event in Dublin, which I unfortunately wasn't able to attend in person, but watched with just rapt attention on Instagram. It looked like an incredible event. What was it like to be back live with so many of our colleagues? Yeah, it was fantastic. I think we're all experiencing that at the moment, that um, the power of uh, coming together for live experiences. We were obviously lucky enough to hold iMix America last November, which was a really special atmosphere. And I think... um, all organizations um, are, are delivering their live events this year. The first one that they do is just very special when you bring that community back together. Um, so we're looking forward to that for Frankfurt as well. But Dublin, they did a fantastic job, the city of Dublin, uh, Fulton Island and Site as well. And they had to postpone that event a number of times and they really did a fantastic job. And um, it was just lovely to be back in the heart of the Site community. They're a very special group of people. So Heather, we were so lucky to get to be back live at IMAX America last year, which for many of us I know was a really emotional experience. But obviously the travel restrictions meant that some of our international exhibitors were unable to attend. So what is IMAX in Frankfurt gonna look like this year now that we can really get so many more of our exhibitors to be live at the show? Well, of course, that international element is just going to be so strong in Frankfurt or Asia Pacific friends, um, Australia, New Zealand. So many of those Asian destinations, as soon as the travel restrictions were lifted, they were booking their spaces. They were booking their flights. They're so ready to come back to Europe and reconnect with their colleagues and friends over here and just start doing business again. And so I think, you know, IMAX has always been an international show. And this year that that really is going to be there um, as much. As, as it ever has been. But also we have a whole raft of new exhibitors coming to IMAX in Frankfurt as well. We've got over 30 new stands coming this year, which is fantastic to see. And that that positivity um, is, is amazing. So we've got some new technology exhibitors as you would expect because that area is still growing, but even some new, um, some new destinations like the Maldives and Los Cabos is taking their own stand for the first time. And some of the smaller cruise lines like, you know, Transend Cruises and Scenic. So I really think there's gonna be as there always is a whole raft of exhibitors and certainly loads of people there that everybody will just want to to reconnect with and and meet again. It's so amazing. I actually got chills while you were just talking, thinking about what the show floor is going to look like this year and feel like. And obviously after all of us have been with IMAX for so long that I think we all know what it feels like to get back on site. So I know I'm really looking forward to watching it through all of you. Obviously I won't be there this year, but getting to experience it through social media, which will be wonderful. Um, but talking about live events, Dan, I'd love for you to talk a little bit, um, you know, especially to our attendees and our hosted buyers um, around, obviously, live events are gearing back up and our buyers are really busy again. So why do they need to make time to come to IMAX in Frankfurt this year? Absolutely. But firstly, I want to say it's so exciting that events are picking back up yes. again. And we are so pleased that many of our hosted buyers, our visitors are all picking up their business again. It is excellent news. What I will say about the show this year specifically is do your year's worth of business in three days. That is the IMAX tagline. And that has never been more vital to it to the industry than it is right now. Um, make the, the time to come to the show. Do what you can. If you can't come for the entire time, come for the day program for the drive market. We really want you to come and be able to place that business. There are so many exhibitors for you to come and see from, as Heather's explained, we've got new exhibitors, we've got new tech companies. Come with your shopping lists, come with everything that you need and our exhibitors will be there to suit your needs. You will not leave thinking that you have not made the most of your time. It really is worth doing it this year. No, absolutely. And I think especially for, as you say, the the people who can kind of get their last minute as well, that registration is still open and they can come on site and register. And I think that's a really, really great way to do it. And I know, Karina, um, you had an interview recently where you talked a little bit as well about some of our exhibitors who have been coming for so many years and are absolutely amazing, but have made big changes within their own you know, companies, within their hotels and with what they're doing. Could you just talk a little bit about that, about how to really get the most out of some of those exhibitors who maybe you've seen a million times before, but maybe they could have something really different this year? Yeah, I think it's very important that we don't make assumptions. Um, it, it has always been important. But no more so than right now. Um, The resilience of this industry and the continued investment through the pandemic has really been astonishing. You know, so many um, companies, whether that's hotel companies or cruise lines, so many destinations really invested in their products. So whether that was uh, bringing new ships online, renovating hotels, there have been so many new openings actually during the pandemic.
pandemic and so many scheduled for this year right across the globe. Um, in addition, you've got new convention centres opening up, new convention bureaus. So I really would um, encourage people exactly as Dan and Heather said to come with their shopping list um, to um, really think about what events they want to place, but also to use the show as an opportunity to research what the market is like now. And so if people do have time, spend a day with your shopping list and, and really focusing on those RFPs, but spend a day as well going around the show floor, attending stand presentations, talking to exhibitors and just finding out what's new um, so that you're in the best possible place to advise your clients or your board or your key stakeholders for the next few years. And I think that's really important. And um, obviously, Dan mentioned the education sessions as well. Some of those or many of those are for personal development, but many as well will also focus on new trends in the industry. And I would also really encourage people to think about that. So when people are looking at their schedule to really um, do it very intentionally to build in that time uh, for both of those elements. I think that's really great advice. And, um, you know, I love talking about how the industry is changing so much and it's changing so quickly. So making sure to take advantage of that education. Um, Mark, I'm going to turn it over to you because one thing that isn't changing and isn't changing for quite a while is our incredible partnership with the Mess of Frankfurt. We recently signed another deal with them, a partnership to extend our time there. Can you talk a little bit about why that partnership is so important for us? Yeah, of course, the, they are uh, the great friends of ours, um, long term partners, of course. And um, uh, we've been able to, in signing this new deal, we've been able to secure the space that we need with some inbuilt flexibility for the coming years in terms of hall space and out, outside space uh, to hopefully really allow us to um, to exercise that creativity and, and evolve the show in the next in the next coming years. So. Um, it's really exciting development. Uh, they are wonderful partners and as part of this um, we're excited to welcome them with their own stand for the first time as well. So that's great news. Fantastic. You should put that on your list then, I guess. Um, Heather, let's turn it over to you. You are celebrating 20 years at IMAX this year, which is a really incredible, incredible number. Um, you've seen a lot of IMAX events. So what are you most looking forward to for this show? Just being there. Just, oh yeah, I'm just getting emotional even just thinking about it because 2019 seems such a long time ago. And like Karina said earlier on, that atmosphere at IMAX America was incredible and it was so special. And because there are so many people that will be us, with us in Frankfurt this year that weren't able to be with us in Vegas, just the reunion of, of all of our community coming back together is, is just gonna be such a, such a great event. I just, yeah, I just can't wait. Now, Karina, you were also celebrating 20 years at IMAX, um, and you were at that launch of the show in 2003. If you could go back in time and give yourself and your team advice as to how to get the most out of that show, what would that be? And what would you also tell all of us to be thinking about as we get ready to celebrate the next 20 years of IMAX? Well, that first show in 2003, uh, I mean, it was a blur. It was, um, you know, so few of us working on it, and we just did everything. I think... Um, if I was to tell myself anything, it would be not to sweat the small stuff. Um, we did, and we did that for many years, and we still do. We always um, think about all the tiny details, you know, whether it was the badges were flipping around too fast <laughs> or, um, you know, cues at the cloakrooms. And we've always focused on those incremental improvements to make every element of the show better. And I think that's really important. But I would also tell myself to um, and the team to really think about that longer view and um, you know just to really enjoy the journey and to enjoy the buzz of having the whole industry there together because what we learned over the past couple of years is that we really miss that um, and we miss our friends and colleagues from all over the world so just to enjoy the industry being in one place in one time um, we should all do that. Absolutely. And thank you. That's great advice. And thank you all for joining us today. Um, and thank you for tuning in. And we can't wait to see all of you enjoying IMAX in Frankfurt, the 31st of May to the 2nd of June at the Mesa Frankfurt. We'll see you there.